So, we had already seen three basic concept of uh, probabilistic modeling, sample of space into a step computation, event of interest into a step uh, computation, then probability measure in four step definition, not competition. I have not discussed about competition of probability measure of an event. Now, here we will start to compute probability measure of an event. So, you will see it here how we can do that and remember that what formula you had seen your in your high school mathematics uh, probability uh, course, it would be different approach, totally different. So, here uh, we had already seen uh, various kind of uh, sets and in various uh, we categorize it to two kind of sets. One was continuous, another one was discrete set. Discrete set means it is having a, a countable framework like what does it mean? That means we are able to put element of discrete set in sequential form. So, discrete set is all about a sequence we are putting. So, just whenever someone is saying you are having a discrete set, just recall the visualization of sequence. That means you are putting element of the set in the form of sequence. Someone is saying continuous set. You what does it mean? That means you fail to put element of that set in the form of a single sequence. You are not able to put. That means if you come up with a sequence, then always that sequence would be insufficient to explain all the element of the continuous set. Some element would be not in that sequence if you are coming with any kind of sequence. So, one example I had already taken. Okay. So, what will happen that if your sample space is discrete, then corresponding probabilistic modeling we call it discrete probabilistic modeling. Okay. So, if you are suppose our sample space is discrete and if it is discrete then how will compute the probability measure there under a probability law. So, that we will discuss. So, here two things are there. One is uniform probability measure. We are calling it uniform probability measure. What does it mean? That means we are taking a uniform law of occurrence of outcomes. Uniform law, simply you say uniform law of occurrence of outcome or simply you can say that uniform law. Okay. And we are taking a finite discrete sample of space. That means number of elements in the sample of space are finite, like it would be 10, 20, 50, 100, like that. So there is a fixed number. We can that uh, uh, we call it cardinality of a set. Uh, is in the set, if you set it is a finite, we can count number of elements there. So, we are taking that kind of finite discrete sample of space and there we are coming with probability law, what law? It is law of occurrence in uniform way, uh, another way we call it equally likely, equally likely. everyone having equal chance of being occur, so equally likely outcomes that we say that. So, here again I will call countable sample of space that means there is a bijection from set of natural number to the sample of space and hence you can call it that sample of space, you, can, you will call it a discrete sample of space and the corresponding probabil probabilistic modeling we call it discrete probabilistic modeling. I will take example here. So, example it will start and the law we have taken uniform law of occurrence. That means you can say that it is equally likely outcomes. Okay. Equally likely outcomes and the sample of space we are taking a finite discrete sample of space. Okay, a space. So, what will happen that uh, approach uh, will resulted in discrete probabilistic modeling with finite uh, structure okay with finite uh, structure and you will see that here the in the in this framework the probability measure p of a simply say that p of a it will take a formula that would be empirical formula that pro number of outcome in a divided by number of outcome in the sample space all possible that formula it will take when it will take when you are taking uniform uh, law uniform law of occurrence of outcomes and you are taking finite discrete sample of space. Then in that case only probability measure will take the form of uh, that empirical formula number of element in event divided by number of element in sample of space. In, only in that case not in always. Okay. So, we will see some example. So, I, I will talk about general example. So, consider a random experiment where we have uniform law of occurrence of outcome okay and we are taking finite sample space finite discrete sample 
if you are saying finite simple space by default it will be discrete because why it is countable countable finite countable so easily it will be discrete so if you are in taking a finite sample space that means number of elements are finite we can count so suppose we are taking sample space a random experiment with sample space having n number of elements we are calling those elements are those outcomes are omega 1 omega 2 omega 3 up to omega n so here omega sample space is containing n number of element and if i say that if you define event event is always subset of sample space if your sample space is finite then event would be what by default finite it would by default finite so again you observe suppose a is an event and a contains k number of outcome what are those outcome omega 1 omega 2 up to omega k this omega 1 may be differ from omega 1 in the sample space it is just order remember that we, we are taking order like that okay so that means omega 1 in a is saying that first outcome that come in a first element outcome that one is satisfying the statement through which a is defined that is the omega okay so just when finite structure of sample space is there you come up with sample space and event through first two basic concept okay if you are doing that then you are taking benefit of uniform law uniform law or probability law or, or equally likely occurrence of outcome okay so through that is it's a equally likely means you are having n number of elements outcomes there in the sample space that means each one occurs with the same probability but we don't know what is that probability so the first equation we are getting it one i have written here probability of occurrence of omega 1 equal to probability of occurrence of omega 2 equal to probability of occurrence of omega 3 likewise probability of occurrence of omega n remember that in the notation you see that probability bracket then curly bracket event is always a subset and if single outcome is coming there that that would be also an event so whenever you say event it always contains curly within curly bracket okay so curly so it is event but loose definition of this one is this by default you understand if someone is writing p of omega 1 actually uh, it may be wrong notation but just to save the time our understanding is very much clear that we are talking about occurrence of omega 1 that means we are talking event containing omega 1 by default we if you take in that way then we can say, say that actually this one is representing this event are you getting are you able to see okay uh, that means this one is representing this one this is the correct one this is the correct one okay and uh, this one is the loose definition what we call it loose representation okay so so that's why i have written so this came from where it came from uniform law of occurrence that means we have taken assumption that equally likely assumption is there from there the first one it came through probability law now we will take benefit of axioms or properties of probability measure what are the properties in the first property you might have seen normalizing property or normalization property that say that probability of sample space equal to one it is saying one and uh, how sample space is made from it is made from the outcomes all possible outcomes so do you know anyone about partitioning of numbers or partitioning of set have you heard have you heard or not if i say there is an integer partition of integer 3 how you will partition 3 you can write 3 as 3 3 plus uh, 2 plus 1 1 plus 1 plus 1 or 1 plus 2 like that in that we so say there all these are the possible partition that we are partitioning into uh, a smaller numbers a uh, smaller so one actually basic unit we are taking like that way in in uh, positive integers likewise if you are having a set we can talk about partitioning of a set you have to partition set in such a way that uh, it must satisfy two property two properties uh, i think mutually exclusive have you heard mutually exclusive in property you might have heard mutually exclusive and totally exhaustive do you know meaning of totally exhaustive mutually exclusive means if you take any two member of the partition 
there would be no common thing. If you take any two member, totally exhaustive means if you take union of all those members of partition, then it will give back the original set, sample of space, sample of space, yeah, or original set uh, uh, which we are partitioning. Okay, so we do here take uh, sample of space omega, and we introduce partitioning of omega through outcomes, occurrence of outcome, because outcomes occurs equally likely manner. Okay, the so sample of space omega can be written as union of omega 1, omega 2, omega 3 up to omega. Why it is coming? You will say that it came due to partitioning, partitioning behavior of omega. Are you getting meaning of this or not? Partition, through partitioning you come up with that. So partitioning means mutually exclusive. Okay, one word is mutually exclusive. Difficult to write. First one is mutually exclusive. So, in short form, I will write it M E meaning of partitioning. And uh, second one is totally exhaustive. In high school, you might have already seen those things. And if you face problem, let me know. I will explain later again, totally exhausted T, okay. So omega, so due to that omega you are able to write uh, as a union of omega 1, omega 2, omega 3 up to omega n. So you have written it like this way and you know that what is mutually exclusive? Occurrence of one or happening of one kills the happening of others, okay. Both can't occur together. That, that one is mutually exclusive. So, what is the, uh, simply you have to use here the, sec, the third axioms of probability measure. What does it say that? Probability of A union B equal to probability of A plus probability of B, where A and B are mutually exclusive. Intersection is null, null set, five. Okay. So, that's where you are able to write this one in this form. Are you getting this? Okay. Now this we we got how we got using normalizing property and additive property, additive property of the probability measure, third property of the probability measure. Normalizing is the first and uh, additive is the third property that we had discussed in the last class. Okay. Now we are having two equation. It is coming with respect to uniform law. Uh, second equation is coming with respect to axioms of probability measure. Okay. Now solve one and two equation. What you will get? Solve this equation. Uh, the sum of these properties equal to one, and here uh, all these individual properties are same. So solve it. What you will get? N time probability of omega one equal to one. So probability of omega one is equal to one by n, and hence probability of each outcome happen as an event happens to be equal to one by n. So you got the probability of outcome. How you got? By using uniform law, by using properties of probability measure. You haven't taken any definition till now, a formula till now. So by using uh, uniform law and by using probability measure, you come up with probability of each individual outcome. That one is 1 by n due to equally likely situation. Now, you will compute probability of event, given event A. So you have to look into A, what are the outcomes there present. So you will sum the probability of those outcomes. And how many outcomes, all outcomes are equally likely, how many outcomes are there in A? K number of outcomes. So 1 by n, you have to add how many times? K times. So probability of A would be K by n. And at the last, you are writing probability of A is equal to K by N. It is the last conclusion of probability measure. This is the right approach. It is not first con conclusion. Remember that when you are starting 
to compute probability of an event, it should be the last, not first, never a start with. So it is totally backward type journey, it may look like, how it came. So this approach, we call it Kolmogorov approach, again, I would like to emphasize. Okay, any, any issue here? Any, any problem? Any issue? No. So I am giving a notation here, it is a notation of cardinality of A divided by cardinality of omega. So that is the, uh, now it becomes, so it is true only in case when you're, you are taking uniform law and when you are taking finite sample space. Only in that case this formula is true. And this is the last outcome, last conclusion. Okay, we will take some example and see how. Everyone might have seen this problem, throwing a dice. Okay, and yeah, throwing a dice, we will compute the probability in the last discussed thing, slide. We will discuss. So, throw a dice. If you are throwing a dice, you have to first find sample space. So, sample space is omega containing this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You got the sample space. So, I am not, right now not uh, specific to talk about event. I am trying to compute probability of each outcome. Okay. Later in next question, I will do that. So, here with uniform law of occurrence, we are equally certain that die will come up 1, come up 2, come up 3. Equally certain. Equally certain means equal, with equal probability, we are saying. That means through this uniform law, we come up with the probability of 1 equal to probability of 2, probability of 2 equal to probability of 3, probability of 3 equal to probability of 4, like that probability of 5 equal to probability of 6. So this we got. But what is that probability, we don't know. Okay. That we will go to compute with the help of uh, axioms of probability measure. So from the axioms of probability measure, we came to know that from the first axioms, we say that we have seen that probability of sample space is equal to omega 1. Now, through partitioning of the uh, sample space uh, in a mutually exclusive and totally exhaustive way, omega can be written as union of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And each one are mutually exclusive. Any two are mutually, exclu mutually exclusive. So, you can break it into in this form and uh, use the third axioms of probability measure. What does it say? So, probability of omega is equal to this probability. Probability of 1 plus probability of 2 plus probability of 3 plus probability of 4 plus probability of 5 plus probability of 6. And this one is equal to probability of sample of space, P of A, omega. Okay. And that one is equal to 1. So, you are having second equation. Solve the first and second equation. What you will get? You will come to see that probability of 1 equal to probability of 2 equal to uh, all these are equal to 1 by 6. You got. So, this is the way to compute probability in probability, uh, compute probability measure in this course. Now, I am taking another example. Here, I will come to compute probability of an event. So, uh, throw a dice and you are putting a statement, getting a number exactly divisible by 3. Exactly divisible by 3. That a statement, a state, it is a, a statement exactly divisible by 3. Uh, that means it is meant to define an, a state, uh, uh, an event. Okay. So, sample space would be again, easily you can compute first two basic things. What? Sample space, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. A would be what? 3 and 6. 3 and 6 are exactly divisible by 3 in the sample space. What is, it is satisfying the given a statement. Okay. So, that is why we got the event. So, now we are having event. So, again we will apply here. No law is mentioned there. So, by default it is uniform law. By default. If no law is mentioned there, by default it is uniform law. So, with uniform law of occurrence, uh, again we say that uh, each outcome equally likely situation is there. So, first equation we got probability of 1 equal to probability of 2 like that. And the second equation, uh, we will get it through axioms of probability major. Okay. And now, solve it and get probability of 1 equal to probability of 2 equal to probability like 1 by 6. And now, C into A, what are the outcome which satisfy the statement and falls in A, 3 and 6. So, sum the probability of those outcome, then you will get probability of A. What is that? 1 by 6, 2 times. So, 2 by 6. That means simplify it later, 1 by 3. And 1 by 3, you are saying that number of outcome in A divided by 
number of outcome in sample of so it is the last conclusion in solving uh, computing the probability of an event okay another example i would like to take that throwing two dice and getting an outcome with sum is 7 sum is 7 so likewise various uh, various things you can define okay so getting sum 7 so what is the scenario here event will change event what are the event what are the outcome in the event 1 6 2 5 3 4 4 3 5 2 6 1 so these are the outcomes there in the event so likewise we will compute what is the uh, apply uh, uniform law all these are for practice purpose you have to do practice in a in this systematic way. this we call it systematic approach not ad hoc approach this we call it systematic you have to do it, all these in systematic approach okay like this so you go like this way uh, through uniform law equation one you got uh, through exams of property measure you got equation two now solve these two you will get property of what is property of one 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 by thirty six property of two to one two one by thirty six likewise the last element would be six six last element six property of so six is would be one by thirty six so what is the property of a look into outcomes which are in a that means which are satisfying the given statement so what are how many outcomes you observe there in a six outcomes so one by 36 you have to sum six times so six by 36 it is one by six so again it comes number of outcome in a divided by number of outcome in simplest so this is the way this is the last thing okay any question here do you find this different approach is it different or not like different what you had studied in pure plus two no different it is different it is based on kolmogoro approach it is not like that first time the value final value that one was ad hoc approach this definition is not always working i will in other example i will talk about this definition is not a, this definition is work only work when the sample of is finite and your the probability law is uniform then only it will so discrete sample of space and I, I will take few non-uniform probability measure okay so again a discrete probability model uh, we are taking finite sample of space but here we are not taking non-uniform uh, not taking uniform law uh, occurrence uniform law occurrence uh, occurrence of outcome like if you flip coin two times and you report about number of hits number of hits you can call it success in that case if you are going to compute probability of event it would be no more equally likely situation you can see it like that uh, that ak that ak contains k number of hits an outcome having k number of hits are you getting meaning of this in toss of two coin ak is talking about number of hits so what are the possible value of k 0 1 2 three possibilities okay so uh, ak you will get it through binomial coefficient 2 choose k p to the power k into 1 minus p to the power 2k so can you say that probability of a1 equal to probability of a2 we can't say that equally likely non uniform pattern is coming like that it is different uh, like like okay and a small p is what probability of success a uh, probability of getting a head so if you are taking an unbiased coin or fair coin then p would be 0.5 p would be 0.5 it would be provided under the situation it would be given if no information regarding probability of success is given by default you can take p equal to 0.5 if it is given that uh, coin is bias then you should ask what is the probability if bias is that it would be definitely not 0 0.5 0 0.4 or 0 0.6 or 0 0.1 or 0 0.9 something like that and then you have to compute there here you, the law is non uniform here no more uniform law is there actually uh, okay uh, uh, uniform thing is making non-uniform 
like in the previous lecture i had told that when you are going to uh, participate in election then their participation of every individual which uh, hold the voter card and satisfy the uh, well, set criteria of election then all are having equal chance equally likely uniform law and once a member has been elected that member become a special a special so non uniform distribution is now between a common person and an, if you talk about distribution a common person and a, a mp an mp uh, it is not uh, what we call it uniform no more uh, non uniform we are from, we are started from uniform now we are leading toward non uniform that is structure if you talking you are talking about a coin then uniform but if you talk about uh, various toss and there you count number of heads or number of tails like that that distribution is no more uniform those those outcome each individual outcome will have different kind of probability no no more equally likely like in tossing two coin together what is the outcome here it is order pair kind of things head 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 tail or tail head or tail tail like that so if it, uh, these are the outcome of actual uh, outcome of the uh, experiment when you toss two coin there these outcome are not equally likely these are not equally likely no more equally likely so that is the, so that uh, law we call it non uniform law these are generated from uniform but become a special so like that so we are started from uniform to uh, come in the category of non uniform so this example any question here and if you are this one is example of finite sample space and non uniform probability law you on okay now can we talk about in finite countably in finite sample space countably in finite like integers like uh, natural numbers like that kind of sample space either it will be natural number n or z or that kind of rational you can go like that if, if that is the situation can we come up with uniform law in that sense you can't define uniform law uniform law will not work there it is one kind of thing that uh, i am asking a function uh which is defined which are spread out uh, throughout in the origin for origin do you know origin as far as you can see as far as you can see there is no limitation if you move forward then your origin will also uh, it will go on like that so if you take a domain a function with uh, uh, that origin kind of domain then it would be difficult to come up with uh, finite support difficult you come you, you can it is very difficult to come up with support finite support what does it mean support anyone may say that what is support all people here are student all are seated in chair your support is chair if i ask what is the support of a long rope long rope will take longer space to sit there uh, suppose some someone is very thick person is it possible that uh, your support and that longer person support both will sit in the same chair like that so that is the support that how much a space that is the domain in which function is defined so it is part of domain something like uh, that will it is not like dom it, it is domain where function is non zero support is Uh, the dom part of domain where function is non zero okay if you are having infinite countably infinite then you have to come up with uh, generally it is having infinite support kind of things like uh, uh, tossing a coin till first success a first getting first head so you have to keep on tossing so what are the possible value of that will fall in the sample space 1 2 3 4 5 it will not start with 0 it will start with 1 1 2 3 4 5 number of trials like that so it is having infinite support it go like that okay so that situation is there then you can't define can't introduce uniform law there 
you have to come up with non uniform so one example we have taken it like uh, getting success in kf toss and kf trial kf toss or trial if you are tossing a coin it becomes trial okay kf toss so how probability is coming failure 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 and at the kf trial you are getting success what is the probability of failure if p is the probability of success what is the probability of failure 1 minus p so 1 minus p time 1 minus p time 1 minus p time up to how many times k minus 1 at the kth you are getting success to p so that's your probability is coming p 1 minus p to the power k minus 1 into p okay it is coming like that so can you can you say that probability of 1 is equal to probability of uh, probability of getting in uh, first trial is equal to probability of getting second trial success these these are not equal so non uniform see outcome if you try to see here the outcome uh, it is not uh, like uh, what we say that uh, uh, it is not like uh, individual one uh, like uh, seeing in a simple form uh, these are composite outcomes these are composite in the in the composite outcome you observe that each outcome in this experiment uh, having different probability so distribution is non uniform no are you getting meaning of this or not so that here non uniform distribution you are getting it like that there are various examples you can so uh, one example I have taken so it is impossible to assign a uniform probability measure to each outcome in a countably infinite sample of space it is impossible to define how it will be impossible through exams of probability of measure it will come to know that suppose you are considering that there is a random experiment with countably infinite sample of space okay and it is satisfying uniform probability measure a uh, law uniform probability law that probability of omega 1 equal to probability of omega 2 like that and omega is containing infinite number of elements so sample of space omega through partitioning approach uh, in uh, mutually exclusive and totally exhaustive way you will write omega as union of omega 1 omega 2 omega 3 like that way and probability of omega is what 1 so you will say that uh, probability of omega 1 plus probability of uh, omega 2 likewise probability of omega n and, and it will go like that the sum is equal to 1 is it possible how many sum is where k varies from 1 to infinity that means p is the probability of success then some one side in in the right hand side you what you observe through summation of uh, probability of individual outcome it will lead to infinite so 1 equal to infinity that one is a contradiction so simply you can say that in case of countably infinite sample space uniform law is not possible it is impossible so can you say that there is a definition of uh, the form of number of element in uh, event divided by number of element in sample space such thing is not working there. are you getting meaning of this or not so first failure of that empirical definition you may have seen in the next uh, you will see in the uh, what we say that uh, continuous sample space okay so we will start here Monte Hall problem little bit and I think probably next lecture we will try to cover. So what is Monte Hall problem? So it is one kind of game. So suppose you are on a game show and you are given the choice of three doors. Okay, choice of three doors. So behind one door there is a car that you can consider as a prize and behind other uh, two doors there are goats okay like that so if you pick a door say number one then host will a uh, host the host who knows what is behind the door the door what you have picked host know what is behind that door okay behind, behind the door so uh, once you pick uh, a door say number one then ho host will open another door say it number three okay which is which has, uh, uh, host will see for himself not for you so host will open to see what is behind other door the other door say it number three so he will see there is a goat then he will give a suggestion to you do you want to pick door two he haven't opened door two the host he has opened door 3 so he will uh, pass a suggestion to you like in KBC you might have heard sometime that uh, Amitabh Bachchan is saying that you would like to shift your option 
what to change your option so like that some kind of suggestion it is coming so uh, he will say that do you want to pick door 2 why because the player open door 1 it is revealed to host host has already seen and door another gate he opened door 3 and that door 3 is revealed to host not to player he, that means the host is having information of door 1 and door 2 ok so that is why he is passing suggestion he is passing the suggestion ok now what is the uh, problem here problem is find the probability with which player win by switching what is the probability that player will win by switching answer is very simple everyone can answer it but how will solve this in in the framework what we have developed till now how will solve it how will solve it framework that one is that answer what you will give that one will be ad hoc solution ad hoc approach now we try to make it systematic how we'll talk about so it is all about uh, formation of or construction of sample space event and further competition of probability measure so here you will come to know some things which will make to uh, which will use to comp uh, construct outcomes what are those so the monte hall game involves three quantities what are those quantities the door concealing the car there is a prize the first thing that one is attracting a player to participate in a game that there is a door concealing the car player will always look for that door now because player is always willing to win so second win is the door initially chosen by the player if you are a player you are fascinated to win a car because there is a car in that team, winning prize is car in there so first that it has fascinated you that's why you are particip participating in the game the second one is the door that as a player you participate then you have to choose a door okay that is the second in, uh, quantity of information uh, then third one is the, the door after once you have chosen a door and uh, as a player then host will check for another door that is the third information in the question you might have already observed all these information are there okay so these are the information first information we have collected now we are trying to constitute outcomes how so consider the doors are there are three doors given name a b c just for state theory notation a b c instead of counting one two three okay so now as the first layer of the tree is the door concerning the price so we have having this tree for a player this having to, uh, the car lock it is talking about car location car location might be behind door a might be behind do, uh, behind door b might be behind door c and here equally likely situation is there what is the probability of being in behind the door a 1 by 3 equally likely situation. no information is given there uh, regarding probability law so equally likely situation is here so i am simply i am calling what is the probability of a 1 by 3 first question there are various questions in, in this problem itself so uh, probability of a equal to 1 by 3 probability of b equal to 1 by 3 probability of c equal to 1 by 3 now second the player could initially choose any of the uh, any of the three door the second layer of information is what after the suggestion uh, that uh, car ma might be behind any of three door with probability 1 by 3 1 by 3 like that okay now, now uh, player came for uh, the car winning winning a car so player is guessing a door selecting a door so second second layer of information is it is coming players initial guess in three quantity i had mentioned now here uh, this one is the second quantity this one is the first car is uh, 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 car is behind a door this one is the first information the second information is giving this tree the leaf of the first tree or you can call it branches when you will call it leaf leaf is part of last part of tree further further uh, after leaf there is no other part of tree do you know that or not 
so you can say that uh, uh, right now these are not leaf and the third in, third information will give you the third layer of tree is that the host open a door to reveal a goat to reveal a goat goat so it is coming like this way here the third layer the door reveal to host so this is third layer of information so one scenario you can say that you can say that if the prize is behind door a the player picks door a and the host is having so that uh, prize is behind door a this route you have taken okay and player is opting for door a okay then host is having how many option he will look for b or c he will. so that's where this scenario either he will go for this or so one event is what it is coming as you will leave this one this is the leaf leaf you will denote it a a b so how many leaves are there in the in this process that will define your sample space you have completed sample space total 18 number of leaves you can constitute sample space this is the okay this is the sample space you got it like that a a b and like a a c like a b c and likewise total 18 leaf would be there so you got this sample space next question has been asked what is the probability and various other things there is a statement what is the probability by switching by switching the door that is that is the question okay so where missing part may be player wins by switching or the player initially pick the it is not like that uh, uh, player is uh, instructed uh, uh, strongly by host player is having independency he can go for his choice as per approach so where missing part may be the player wins by switching or the player initially pick the door concealing the prize or the player or the prize is behind door c okay so as we know event is collection of some possible outcome that i had told that sample space is collection of all possible outcome and event is collection of some possible outcome satisfying a particular situation or a statement like that so if someone is saying that prize is behind door c then what is the event event what kind of things are this situation is here no car location is when the door see player may assume various things now so player may assume that car is behind the door see but he may not be right with probability 1 by 3 is uh, considering that and he is opting he, then he is having three possibility either he may opt for a or b or c so what are the outcomes what are the leaf so leaf the corresponding looks so c a you will get c a b c a b in the leaf you count uh, how many outcomes are there 1 2 3 4 four outcomes are there you can see it. this one is event 1 that car is behind door a uh, player is thinking suppose car is behind door door first pick by the player the first pick by player what does it mean if uh, player is choosing a then the a is the first pick now a a a player is choosing b then first pick would be bb like that it is coming. a player is choosing c then first pick would be cc like that that kind of thing, scenario so that one is the event too so various event you can define it like here so these are the way of defining event in this problem okay so actual event is what winning by switching switching what is meaning of switching always there is a change there is a change of so it is abc acb bac cc bca cab cba but that means door never repeat door in this three level of information door never repeat so this is the situation of uh, win by switching so this one is the outcome and how many 
if you are willing to compute the probability of each leap, how you will compute? What is the probability of A in the first layer? 1 by 3. What is the probability of A, A in the second layer? 1 by 3. What is the probability of B in the uh, in this third layer? 1 by 2. Why? Because there are two options. So 1 by 3 into 1 by 3 into 1 by 2. Total is 1 by 18. And this is the probability of A, A, B. Like, likewise, in this uh, tree, you can compute probability of every leaf. And then uh, win by switching, what are the outcomes are coming? This outcome and this tick outcome. So what are the probability of those outcomes? Here see that uh, out probability of outcomes are not uniformly, not uniform in nature. They are specialized. So that's why these are not equally likely situations. This, this one is example of non-uniform distribution or non-uniform law. These, these are the example of non-uniform law. So what is the probability, desired probability? Okay, it is not coming back. You have to sum it. So uh, after solving, you will get answer 2 by 3. Answer would be 2 by 3 by sum. Okay. I think uh, it is one hour class. So other thing we will discuss in next class. Any question?